You're so silly. Yeah. What are you doing? Hello from Bryson City. Time for another art lesson. Today we're doing wood burning. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Meow. All right, Gary. Thanks. <laughs> so, before we get started, as Norm Abram used to say in the New Yankee Workshop, safety is number one. So, please be aware, wood burning is hot, it's plugged in, there's electricity involved. You can, if you are not careful, burn yourself. So, very badly. So, follow the safety rules, follow safety precautions. If you buy a wood burner, read the instructions before you get started. Make sure you know all the safety recommendations. Make sure you have a stand burner on. Some of them don't come with them. Or, if you're like me, you lose them. So, let me turn it around here and you can see what we've got going on today. All right. Here's our wood burner. I bought this a while back from Lowe's. It is a Weller and it came in this nice box. Ooh, and it came with all these accessories. So several different tips, including different patterns and stuff, which is nice. Um, there's this one. There's a there's this pattern, which I have never used before. This is like a, like a basket pattern. Very nice. Some lines, if you want to make straight lines. And then also this large um, piece for an area that just all screws into the tip. And then also this tip, which goes to the X-Acto blade. So you Through wax, cut through all sorts of stuff with a hot, literally a hot knife. Imagine that. Uh, and it also came with uh, the soldering tip, which is good if you're soldering rail, joints, stuff like that, wires together. So make sure you've read this, um, understand your safety precautions. Um, if you can read that, that's awesome for you. Thank you. So we'll stick with English. <coughs> Yay. It also came with, this is very nice, it came with this, um, design. if you use carbon paper, or um, you can rub pastel on the back of these, and then chalk pastel to trace one of these onto your piece of wood rub the soft past pastel on the back and then trace it down just make sure you're not using the color like orange which would be difficult to see on the wood there's also um, letters in here if your handwriting is not the it's okay so but it does come with letters and little designs and stuff like that very nice so however I'm not using the designs. <laughs> Safety, yes. Designs, no. So, I've got some scrap wood here. Pine, pine, chunk of cedar. It smells so good. How much uh, smell? Yeah, sort of does. Yeah. Nothing better than a fresh block of cedar. Evergreen. That's why I got in the bonsai, I think. Alright, so I have us a pencil. So, I'm going to draw first. I'm going to use this little chunk of wood. Um, and also, on the um, wood burner, before you get started, I have inserted the wedge, the chisel tip. So, there it is. So, you can get a fine point, you can get a broad point. Either way, uh, when you hold the wood burner, your fingers can stop here. Do not touch this part, and as you can see where this is starting to turn purple, and this is sort of a matte color, all this is very hot. So, just to demonstrate. Ooh, I've never seen that happen. There you go. It burn it burn it right in there. So, it goes back into the holder. Let's see if I can get it up here. <laughs> just like moving away. There we go, yeah. <laughs> so, so, to start off, I'm going to draw a little design here. Let's go. <clears throat> Okay, 
Real simple, little design. I'm going to reposition the camera here, so bear with me. So that way you guys can get a good view of this. Can I do the next one, Dan? Yes, you get to do Matter of fact, I'm going to hand you another block of wood. This is for Betsy and a pencil for Betsy. All right. You sit over here and draw while I demonstrate, and then it'll be your turn. Okay, so I'm going to take this tip, and I want this to be a fine line. So I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to start up here. And you just slowly following your line. Again, I'm holding the wood down, but I'm keeping it out of the way of the hot. I do not want to be on the business end of this. Now, so this part, I'm going to just push in. I'm going to use the fact that it's a wedge. And just push it in and make these marks. Smoke? That's yeah, that is smoke because we are literally, we are burning the wood. It smells like smoke and it got in my eye. You're probably used to this. Hmm, I've done it a few times. I made that one little piece for you for Valentine's Day. That BB. Uh huh. So my name is Dr. B, and he did a B. So if you go too fast, what happens is the as you're pushing this into the wood, it loses its heat. So you want to slow down. Just long enough to you know let it let it do its work. Well, like that. You should make one for mom. <laughs> you just don't have a lot to say on a on a dreary Thursday, but that's okay. At least there's lots of wood to burn. Yes, at least there's lots of wood to burn. Hi. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna put this back in our little holder. Watch your feet. Watch your hands. There we go. Hold on. So here's our finished piece. Um, I do not have handy a sanding block. Oh, I do have a sanding block. You do. So, so, you want to, with your piece, you want to take a sanding block after you're kind of done. I like to sand them just a little bit. Sand the edges. Okay. And then blow it off, and there we go. Once you get to this point, the next thing you can do is color it. Yep. If you want to use colored pencils on it, again with the colored pencils. You yeah. can come in with the colored pencils and colored pencils are a great way to add a little bit of color to your wood burning. There 
we go. And so there it is. A little bit of colored pencil, a little bit of wood burning. Very nice. You're not All right. Not Are you ready? Yep. Okay. I'm going to. Which side do you want to be on? You want to be this. on this side or the other side? This side. You'll be on. Woo! Move over this way. All right. Do not grab below that. Betsy's got a very interesting design here. Watch your fingers, watch your hands. Too fast. So go. You want to go slow. Watch it burn. Okay, and stop. If the smoke's too much, stop. Stop for a minute. Also, that lets your wood burner recharge. So, watch your hands. I'm going to hold this in, too. Now, if you need to, I want you with this hand, turn your piece of wood as, as you need to to make all these other lines. So, these other lines, yeah. There you go. And then you can drag it that way. Yep. Go, gotta go slow. You have to go slow. There you go. Get that line. Yep. Yeah, the curves would be the toughest part. got a pretty good one there for just learning some basics that's a good a good abstract pattern to learn how to do this Whoop. very nice So again, you can draw anything you want in your blocks of wood. You could have any design or anything like that on there. What if you don't have a wood burner? If you don't have a wood burner, then doing wood burning is going to be very difficult. You got to go slow. No, I didn't. <laughs> you pulled that real quick. That's funny. I'm so used to. Yep. So give it a second. Pick it up. Let it kind of recharge, and then start back up here and do that part again. <clears throat> can, what do you think this can uh, go through except for wood? It could melt through any. It could burn or melt through anything that can be burned or melted. <laughs> and if you push it down too long, yes, you will burn a hole through the wood. I want to do, but I didn't know I can't. Slowly turn. You can turn, yep, you can turn and just push it in there. Don't push it in too hard though because, like I said, you'll burn. Of course, this is a thicker piece of wood. If you're using a thinner piece of wood, you could burn through it. While Betsy's working away here, just a reminder, when you are finished, if you decide to do this project and you are finished wood burning, make sure when you're done that you unplug your wood burner before, yes. you, before you walk away from your workstation. That's that is, that is super important. Um, a wood burner left on could start a fire. So I can't, I can't stress that enough. And if you lay your own piece of wood... Mm -hmm. Just forget about your building. So for our holder, remember I mentioned earlier we lost our holder? I have this. This is a bolt that I found down near the train tracks um, in Old Fort. This is really cool. This is a big chunk of steel. It would take a lot of energy and the wood burner sitting on this for a long time to heat this up to cause any trouble. So it's a great holder for a wood burner. And it's very heavy, so it's not going to move. 
like I went too far. That's okay. Pick it up and take a look. There you go. All right. Let's see if you can finish up the rest of that. Well, I have other things. So as you can see, wood burning takes a little bit. But the results can be pretty cool if you Google. There's lots of really cool stuff out there. Um, there's also some folks down in the... Uh, in Andrew. In, uh, they do wood burning. I'm going to flip it the other way to do this one. Yeah, watch those fingers. There you go. Very good. Yep. Alright, let's put your wood burner up here for a moment. Let's let it sit and rest and recharge. Let's see? A little music design, and then these are all other there music designs. There we go. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Design all of these yeah. are gonna be music design. You know what? Now that you told me that, I totally see it. That's so awesome. E all right, let's get the uh, before you continue on any further. Here's the sanding block, sandpaper. Sand it. Yep, let's sandpaper. Sand that out. Yeah. Especially if you don't, you don't have to sand that both sides. Side. And voila, there you go. It looks the sand thing doesn't. Oh, this makes it look weird. On that, some more, but <clears throat> I think we're getting close to the end of our video. So that's all we have for you today.